dispatches tonight the unreported story of the Bosnian war. How the Croatian government has shared in the carve-up of Bosnia just as it always intended and how it's got away with it. Tonight, as the Croats meet to talk peace with their former Muslim allies in Vienna, dispatches reveals the secret protocols that betrayed those same Muslims. That's dispatches, how the Croats have created a brand new country in Bosnia just for themselves and how the West has turned a blind eye to a greater Croatia. Chaplina, a town in Herzeg, Bosnia, a new country few people have ever heard of, but a country that's determined to put itself on the European map. Herzeg, Bosnia is the mini-state that Croats have carved out of what was once Bosnia, and now Chaplina's mayor, Pero Markovic, can look forward to a brave new world. I svi oni koji imaju prokušane živote u demokraciji nastaviti živjeti kao i drugi, kao i Evropa, jer smo sastavni dio Evrope. Dakle, mi trebamo raditi, trebamo obnavljati porušeno, trebamo se školovati, trebamo se spremati za život u Evropi kojoj pripadamo. But before Herzeg Bosnia can take its place in Europe, towns like Chaplina have a lot of work to do. Not just repairing the damage caused by the Serb attack 18 months ago, but also removing the traces of a second, more chilling battle. Chaplina seems to be getting back to normal, but scratch beneath the surface and everything has changed. One in four of the town's population has left. They didn't choose to go. Six months ago, Chaplina was sealed off by the militia. Street by street, block by block, a quarter of the town's people were loaded into buses and driven away. They were all Muslims. This was the final step in a campaign of persecution, which began when Muslim cafes and shops were looted and destroyed. Herzeg Bosnia has not emerged by accident. The setting up of this state is the realization of a long-term plan. Today, all the players in the Chaplin of football team are Croats. They play beneath the Croatian checkerboard flag. The story of how the Serbs carved out their chunk of Bosnia is well known. The Croats have now done the same, but their game plan has been overlooked. Herzeg Bosnia owes its existence to one man, Croatian President Franjo Tudjman. For him, the making of a Croat state on Bosnian land has been a personal obsession, an obsession which drove him to bang the final nail into Bosnia's coffin. Tudjman has built this state on concentration camps, ethnic cleansing, torture, starvation, all executed by his henchman, Matej Boban. Bosnia and Herzegovina will be in the same part of the Croatian people, and the Croatian people in it will be their own self-governor. The Croats were the smallest group in Bosnia, fewer than a fifth of the population. But they've always dominated the barren landscape of Herzegovina. Herzegovinans look to the Croatian capital Zagreb rather than Sarajevo as their capital. This rocky terrain bred the fascist ustaches of World War II. To this day, Herzegovinans display a virulent strain of Croatian nationalism. It is a 
philosophy of intolerance, a lot of prejudice. They hate state as an institution. They hate taxes. They hate everything. They need only space and territory. After World War II, poverty drove tens of thousands of Herzegovinans to abandon this infertile land. In emigre communities abroad, their nationalist fervor only deepened. They dreamed of their region becoming part of Croatia. It was a dream shared by Croatian President Franjo Tuđman. He always believed that Croatia had an historic claim in Bosnia. Bosnia and Herzegovina is a dream that was created invazijom Evrope. Do tog doba veći dio Bosne i Hercegovine bio je u sastavu Hrvatske države ili je pak bila neka bosanska kraljevina ali katolička vezana sa Hrvatskom. Tuđman's obsession with Croatian claims in Bosnia runs deep. In 1991, he meets his arch-enemy, Serbian President Slobodan Milosevic, for secret discussions. Even though Serbia is threatening to invade Croatia, Tuđman is still happy to talk about their one common interest, a carve-up of Bosnia-Herzegovina. Two eyewitnesses of this meeting at Karadžorđeva can now reveal the real agenda. To nikad nije... Uh u mass media i nigdje nije data potpuna informacija o tome. Tako da su to bili tajni razgovori. A im je dat izgled u mass medijima kao razgovor Srbije i Hrvatske o otvorenim problemima između te dvije države. I ništa više. Što više demantirani su demantirane su sve glasine sva pričanja, sva nagađanja da se radi o Bosni. To je demantirano. There were several maps on a table, I guess, and the idea was more or less close to the recent ideas on Bosnia and Herzegovina. That means either to divide Bosnia and Herzegovina into 10 or 15 units or in three semi-independent semi states. Did the Muslims attend this meeting? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Ni jedan predstavnik Bosne i Hercegovine nije sudjelovao u razgovorima u Karadžorđevu, niti poslije Karadžorđeva. To je samo bio bilateral, to su bili bilateralni razgovori između srpskih i hrvatskih predstavnika kojima nikada nije pristao ni jedan predstavnik bosanskih muslimana. Tuđman had swept to power on a nationalist ticket, but most of his advisors opposed his ambitions in Bosnia. However, Tuđman is an autocrat who listens only to the people who agree with him. He found unconditional support elsewhere. Emigre Herzegovinans had poured money into Tuđman's election campaign. They were confident he would promote their nationalist ambitions not only in Croatia, but also in Bosnia. The most prominent is Gojko Šušak. Until four years ago, Šušak was a pizza parlor entrepreneur in Toronto. Now he's the defense minister of Croatia. President had the view on Bosnia and Herzegovina long before we met. He was very explicit in that at the very first uh, public speech and when he came to, to the US and Canada. That's when I first met him. His politics on, on Bosnia and Herzegovina were defined. Uh, they do coincide with my view of Bosnia and Herzegovina in many ways. So. There is a double game between the two. At personal level, Mr. Shushak is a kind of Tujman's slave. He accepts every decision made by Mr. Tujman. So his non-existing 
personality in, at personal level. But in political sense, Mr. Tujman sometime or even uh, at the present time very often exhibits politic, uh, uh, Mr. Shushaki's uh, uh, political philosophy. But for the Croats of Sarajevo and the rest of Bosnia, Tujman's ambitions were dangerous. The Herzegovinans, who number only 200,000, had always lived together. But 600,000 other Croats were scattered in mixed communities throughout Bosnia. They couldn't easily be disentangled. These Croats already had their own leadership in Sarajevo. So I have one vote for the only legalne konvencije Hrvata u Bosni i Hercegovini koja je održana. Dobio sam mandat na dvije godine. Nakon toga, ja sam često razgovarao s predsjednikom Tuđmanom i uvijek sam mu rekao, vi jeste predsjednik svih Hrvata, ali ja sam predsjednik Hrvata u Bosni i Hercegovini. But unknown to Kluic, the president of all Croats was already preparing the ground for a division of Bosnia. Even as he makes his first presidential visit to the Croats of Sarajevo, Tujman is secretly backing a small group of extremist Herzegovina politicians who are plotting a separate Croat state in Bosnia. But he reveals nothing of his true intentions to this audience. Putovao sam posljedne tri godine, veoma mnogo svijetu, ali sasvim sigurno je ovaj sudan s vama jedan od najvidljivih za mene. Dispatches has obtained the signed secret protocol produced by that group in November 91. It confirms decisions reached with Tujman in Zagreb. It declares Croatian people within Bosnia-Herzegovina must finally start a decisive and active policy which is supposed to lead us to our centuries-long dream, our common Croatian state. They'll show Europe and the world which regions in Bosnia-Herzegovina are Croatian and where our future lies. The document lays out the real plan. First, a Croat province in Bosnia is declared. Next, any Croat leaders who support a united Bosnia must be removed. Within two months of the meeting, with Tujman's backing, the separatists force Kluic to resign. Herzegovina Matti Boban, whose main claim to fame was a spell in jail for black marketeering, is installed as the new leader. The plan is underway. Boban moves the Croat power base to this factory in his hometown of Grude in Herzegovina. This town with just two main streets and no town square takes the place of sophisticated Sarajevo. The next stage is simple. Boban sets up a separate Croat army in Bosnia, the HVO. March 1992, Croats vote with Muslims for independence. The Serbs rebel and war breaks out. As the Serbs cut a swathe through Bosnia, Croatia steps in to help the beleaguered state. Tujman signs a military alliance with Bosnian President Izabegovic to fight the Serbs. Tujman knows that the mainly Muslim Bosnian government has little choice but to rely on Croatia. This serves his purpose. Muslimani in the beginning were not ready to fight against the Serbian aggression. And then they were accepted as a agreement on the joint fight against Croatia and Muslims against the Serbian aggression. thought that Muslims would join Croatia that was big I mean that was a second uh, thought behind his political mind Croats and Muslims link up to fight the Serbs many Muslims join the HVO which is better prepared than government forces 
u Hrvatskom vijeću obrane, čak sam bio zapovjednik voda i nekako sam očekivao da će ta borba uspiti, da će, da će, da će se održati. But once the alliance has halted the Serb advance, Boban moves to the next stage of the master plan. He declares that the Bosnian government is dissolved and announces that the HVO has taken over in all areas unoccupied by the Serbs. The strains in the alliance are obvious. Well, superficially, they were working together as partners. There was a coalition uh, which had taken them through the referendum on independence, and on the face of it, you thought that you were dealing with the Croats and the Muslims versus the Serbs. It was not many weeks before I realized that this was not a true coalition. On this mo yes mo sami bez ičije ičijeg sudjelovanja, dakle bez muslimanskog djelovanja uspjeli obraniti od srpskog i jugoslavenskog agresora 35% Bosne i Hercegovine na tom prostoru a jer je zakonodavstvo i prestalo postojati, nestalo je države Bosne i Hercegovine, mi smo utemeljili Hrvatsko vijeće vrne kao privremenu izvršnu vlast na slobodnom prostoru za zaštite čovjeka, njegove osobe, njegove imovine i radi temeljnih funkcija života na tom prostoru u smislu zdravstva, školstva i tako dalje, a opet sve u funkciji obrane i naroda i prostora. But to the HVO's supposed partner in the alliance, the takeover seems far from temporary. Ivan Negovetic is a Croat who enlisted not in the HVO, but in the Bosnian government army. HVO preuzima vlast, zauzima i policijsku stanicu u općini, potpuno preuzima i svoju vlast, svoje funkcionere, i uklanjaju sve elemente države Bosne i Hercegovine iz, dakle, našu zastavu, oznake, sve ono što određuje državnost Bosne i Hercegovine uklanjaju i instaliraju novu državu. To tighten its grip across Bosnia, the HVO has to weaken its alliance partner. Dispatches has obtained official documents which show the restrictions the HVO placed on the Bosnian army. In many areas supposedly under joint control, the HVO requisitions all industry, power supplies and transport. All consignments of weapons to the Bosnian army need to pass through Croatia and Herzegovina. At each checkpoint, some of the consignment is hived off, and most of the weapons end up in HVO hands. In Grude alone, 37 trucks of weapons intended for the defense of Sarajevo are halted and plundered. I mi smo to tolerisali. Čak smo tolerisali to da nam oni sad to oružje koje su oteli od nas, da nam prodaju. Pa smo ga kupovali, naravno, po... Iako je ono već jedan put plaćeno, platili su naši ljudi, Napolju, pa smo sad ponovo po drugi put plaćali, samo da ne bi, nismo želi da otvaramo prvo drugi front, nismo htjeli da dođe do ovog sukoba, nastavili smo po svaku cijenu da, da se on prolongira, ali jednostavno na kraju su nam se zatvorili potpuno ti logistički putevi i više nije dolazilo do nas ni tih 10 ni 15 procenata koliko je dolazilo. The alliance starts to collapse. In some areas, Bosnian forces are disarmed and expelled by the Croats. In others, they fight back and push the HVO out. Serb aggression becomes a distant memory as Croats and Muslims begin a scramble for territory. They fight each other with the bitterness born of betrayal. Bosnia is dead. Time se bosanska kriza predstavlja u novom svjetlu. Ne agresija, fašistička agresija Srbije i Crne Gore na jednu nezavisnu državu, nego se stvara atmosfera građanskog rata u kojem svi pucaju jedni na druge. Dok su bili Hrvati i muslimani skupa i dalje se mogu govoriti u Bosni. Ali u onog momenta kad su Hrvati, kad je došlo do Hrvatsko muslimanski sukob, onda se i muslimanska čak politika morala neminovno mijenjati. 
I sigurno je da je ideja zajedničke Bosne uništena sa hrvatskim naprednim muslimanima. Tuđman and Boban are already rewriting history. They planned to seize power across Bosnia, but the Bosnian army stopped them. Now the official Croat line blames Muslims for destroying the alliance. Osim toga, mi smo Hrvati stvarno krivi što se to događa, jer smo u dobroj namjeri muslimanskoj žrtvi od srpske agresije pripomogli da ostane živa, povratili joj dostojanstvo u svakom obliku, a posebno što smo dozvolili da imaju čime ubijet Hrvata. Prevladali su ti ekstremistički elementi koji u toj nemogućnosti da vrate područja koje su Srbi osvojili, evo, orijentiraju se na rat protiv Hrvata, ali i na dugotrajni rat. Ne na političko rešenje, nego na dugotrajni rat. As the alliance crumbled, Western negotiators failed to react to the Croats' territorial ambitions. The Croats had taken care to pose as the reasonable party in the Bosnian conflict. Well, they were the weakest uh, group because they're the smallest group. And I think they were quite clever politically to decide that, by and large, they would go uh, along with the negotiators. They would be the reasonable party. That was in their interest to be that. And I think that was a clever strategy. That strategy is about to pay dividends. Now the peace negotiators are poised to give the Croats a green light for the final dismantling of Bosnia. December 1992, Geneva. As the Vansoin peace plan is being drafted, the Croats are tightening their grip throughout their planned mini-state, Herceg Bosna. The plan divides Bosnia into ten provinces, but it appears to ignore Mate Boban's obvious territorial ambitions, ambitions which the negotiators knew only too well. One was well aware that they had been pursuing their own agenda way before the Van Seren plan was announced. That was, we were very conscious of it. The Herzog-Bosnia question was a constant issue between uh, President Zizek and President Tuđman. So, you know, there was nothing, there was no surprises by them. We were fully aware of what, they, uh, what was their private agenda. Even so, the Croats see the Vansoin peace plan as an endorsement of their private agenda. Two of the provinces have a clear Croat majority, a third is half Muslim. Boban claims this province for himself. He insists that Vansoin has rewarded Croats with over a quarter of Bosnia. He hurries to sign. Vansoinov plan is one of the most optimal possible Bosnia and Herzegovina. da to nisu razumjeli ni Europa, ni Amerika, ni Ujedni narodi, ni Srbi, ni muslimani. The Vansoin plan places the mixed city of Mostar in a Croat province. The Croats have long coveted Mostar as their capital. They use the peace plan as the green light for a takeover. But Vansoin also binds each province to protect ethnic minorities. The Croats appear not to notice. Nakon popisivanja crvnog plana, hercegovački Hrvati procijenili da je stvar završena. Podjela je izvršena, dobili smo herceg Bosnu kao para državu i sad možemo raditi što hoćemo. Možemo mijenjati ulice, možemo imenovati sveučilište hrvatskim sveučilištom. Mostar je konačno glavni grad naše države, nove, novostvorene, jer su smatrali da je stvar gotova. To je naravno bilo krivo. May the 9th, 1993. The Croats mount an all-out assault in Mostar. The Bosnian forces resist. Have you always seen Mostar as the capital of Hatsay Bosnia? Yes, all the time. Even though it was a majority Muslim? No, there are no majority in Mostar of any nation. Before the war, the equal number of inhabitants uh, were Muslims and Croats. The difference uh, was uh, only a few hundred. But still you saw it as the capital of the Croatian part of Bosnia-Herzegovina? Yes. Why? Yes, it is. 
because uh, this republic must have the capital, must have one center, must have university, must have other things uh, which makes uh, republic as republic on one civilization level with theater, with symphonic orchestra and so on. But that civilized capital does not include Muslims. All the Muslims living on the west side are rounded up and forced across the river to the devastated east side. A brutal siege begins. Civilians become a weapon of war. Živjela sam na desnoj obali. Imali smo krasan doseban stan. Namještem radili smo ja i on 25 godina. Namjestili sebi, a po sebi sve ostalo. Protirali su nas. Išli smo, bili smo živi štit. Kad su nas protirali, nisu nam ništa dali. I saw a film where there was a night shot of people being driven out of West Mostar into East Mostar by Harvey troops. Taj snimak je mogao biti napravljen i u Somaliji. For four months, the HVO blocks all relief convoys to Muslim-held East Mostar. As the battle for the capital of Herzeg Bosna grinds on, Boban continues to starve civilians there. He is still using food as a weapon in his war. Ustaje se ujutru, prva je borba za drva. Treba se tražiti po starim kućama, po ruševinama, da se što izvuče za drva. Ako već ima, iako je sve to već... Bog zna, razvučeno je ljudima treba, onda vodu dok nabaviš, trčiš, ako imaš to da skuhaš, da skuhaš, ako imaš našto da skuhaš i to, šta ja znam, teško majke, onda ako su granatiranja ideš, vidiš je li živ tvoj, gdje je ko uvijek svako jutro prebrojavanje, Ko je na broju, ko nije, ko je poginuo, ko nije, ko je ranjen, ko nije. Rana, Bože moj, ako se uspije, jede se možda jednom dnevno, eventualno dva puta, ali to je rijetkost. Across the river, on the Croatian-held side of Mostar, there's no shortage of food. Mostar don't have West Bank, don't have East Bank. Mostar is a unique town and uh, I don't recognize this division. It's temporarily front line, but uh, I'm inhabitant of Mostar. Mostar is my native town and uh, I don't want to divide them. Other natives of West Mostar are busy sweeping away the last traces of their neighbors. Dispatchers found some photographs among the ashes. The Croats steadily work their way through the order of war pioneered by the Bosnian Serbs. In the Mostar region, Muslim men of fighting age are herded off to camps such as Dretel. Many had fought in the HVO. Dretel is a place where the country can be killed, where the Croats can be killed, and the Muslims can be killed, and no one can be killed. People are killed systematically, there was no food, there was no water, there was no food. higijenskih uslova, liječnička zaštita je također bila nikakva. Svakodnevne su bile torture, mučenja, mnogo ljudi umrlo. 
on an island just off the Croatian mainland, Muslim victims from Dratelia detention camp are still held under police guard. Dispatches filmed there secretly. It's important to you at the moment that you are in the moment that you are in because your refugee status has only been extended for one month. Yeah, the government of Herzeg Bosnia released these men only on condition that they would be sent abroad by the United Nations. They have left Bosnia forever. It's important that you secure your safety and foremost. Serbia could have opened its own image only so that it would let us out of the threat. As you can see, we are not sent to Bosnia. We are not sent to where our families are. They have let us out. Hrvatsku kao naše privremeno mjesto boravka da bi odatle otišli u treće zemlje i to je stvari samo nastavak etičkog učišćenja. Throughout the war against Bosnian government forces, the regular Croatian army continues to pour into Bosnia to reinforce the HVO. This Croatian soldier was photographed on the front line in Mostar last June. Prije sukova sa nama HVO Dok nije znači došao do sukova sa nama, HVO nije imao ni jedan tank. Sada na ovim prostorima ima desetine tankova. Očigledno da su dobili pomoć iz Hrvatske ili preko Hrvatske. Dalje imamo registrovane na više, kroz našu prislušnu tehniku, koja je vrlo skromna istina, imamo registrovane razgovore gdje se jasno kroz akcenat, kroz naglasak primjećuje da su to vojnici Hrvatske i vojske. We have evidence of Croat army tanks in Lubuški. Mi isto imamo dokaze da se vaši tenkovi, vaši tenkovi da se nalaze negdje tamo kod Pakistana i Indije. There is, and as I speak, a very substantial element of the Croatian army in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Very substantial. And I must say, I think it's an issue which the world ought to address uh, more strongly. I mean, they addressed it in terms of the Serbs in the spring of uh, 1992 with very considerable strength of purpose, but they have to a great extent ignored it in the last uh, six months as it's built up. President Tudjman's ambitions in Bosnia have been so ignored that in the Croatian capital of Zagreb, it's business as usual. Croatia's backing of atrocities in Bosnia has gone unpunished. A senior diplomat told dispatches the Croats have got away with murder, literally. At a European community meeting in July, ministers rejected sanctions. And certainly that has been the view of the um, European community, obviously influenced by the Federal Republic of Germany and other friends of Croatia like Austria and the United Nations, Hungary and others and the United States. So the general feeling has been that it is better to make representations to President Tuchman and to criticize and to argue rather than to take action in terms of sanctions against Croatia. We need an appropriate international approach to the Balkans. And till present time we have experienced many, I mean many strange international politicians, genuinely losers in their own countries like Lord Owen, Lord Carrington, Lord that and that, and they were sent to this part of the earth to play an, an ir irresponsible political games. One winner in these irresponsible political games has been Franjo Tudjman. In July, he abandoned any pretense of supporting a unified Bosnia by calling openly for a carve-up. Peace negotiations are now based on a union of republics or mini-states. Tudjman has satisfied his obsession. Next on the agenda, the joining of this part of Bosnia with Croatia. I think we will be the leader of the Croatian country. The goal of Croatia in Bosnia and Herzegovina is not only the Croatia in Herzegovina or the Croatia in Bosnia. The Croatia in Bosnia and Herzegovina is one of the only part of the whole Croatian national corps. There must be and be aware of 
uloge geopolitičkog momenta u povesti pojedinih naroda, pa i civilizacija. Granice Hrvatske države i u prošlosti, pa i danas, nisu samo granice granice Hrvatske, nego li, nažalost, se nalazimo na razlučnici civilizacija. In Herzog Bosna, in towns like Chaplina, the new state is taking shape. The few factories are getting back to work. Children are getting used to a new curriculum, the same one taught in the Croatian motherland. But just outside Chaplina, a convoy waits to collect the Croat refugees driven out from central Bosnia. For these people, Tujman and Boban's land grab has backfired. They come from outside Herceg Bosna, where the HVO is losing more and more territory to Bosnian government forces. The Croats of central Bosnia are now reduced to a few besieged pockets, falling one by one. The latest is Varesh, where 20,000 people have fled. Mate Boban's only solution is to offer them a home in the barren land of Herceg Bosna. In Sarajevo, Croats face an uncertain future. 30,000 Croats live here. It's still the largest Croat city in Bosnia. But the Herceg Bosna government has abandoned them. Only the church is left to protect them. The spiritual leader of all Croats in Bosnia, Archbishop Vinko Pulic, refuses to leave his cathedral, despite constant pressure to move to Herceg Bosna. Ode. 27.12. prošle godine ne postoje legalni izabrani organi u državnim organima. Oni su izišli izvan Sarajeva. I od tada do danas živilo se dosta neizvjesno. Ivan Tomislav je kroat citizen of Sarajevo. He feels betrayed by Mate Boban and his fellow Hercegovinans in Grude. Jer ono što rade ljudi politički u grudama to je jednostavno izvršenje politike koja se diktira iz Zagreba e, ta politika ona ne, pod, ne podrazumijeva a, interes Hrvata cijele Bosne i Hercegovine to su jedna politička rješenja o kojima nisam pitan i za koje nisam davao svoj glas a Herceg Bosna ne rješava cjelovito pitanje Hrvata, katolika, u cijeloj Bosni i Hercegovini. Dakle, ja ne mogu se opredijeliti za jednostrano političko rješenje, ukoliko to političko rješenje ne zaštićuje sve moje vjernike. Tražim da politika omogući ostvarenja prava svih mojih vjernika. For the Croats in Sarajevo, Mate Boban's invitation to come and join other Croats in Herceg Bosna is unacceptable. Ovaj hvala lijepo gospodinu Bobanu na prijedlogu, ali ja ne bi mogao živjeti ni u Mostaru, razumijeti, ni u Grudama, ni u ne znam, nija u kom, kad je ovdje meni najljepše. Iako su granate, iako nemamo uslova za život, ali mi ćemo preživjeti. This is a tragedy. And this tragedy could, could be attributed to the leadership of Mr. Tujman because he has made many wrong decisions and I mean he, he simply, I mean his mentality is a mentality of a genuine loser. Oni su politički slijepci, oni žele da za 130.000 Hrvata koje niko ne ugrožava u zapadnoj Hercegovini žrtvuju 700.000 Hrvata u, u, u cijeloj Bosni. The choice now facing Bosnian Croats is stark. For most it's Herceg Bosna or nothing. President Tudjman has carved out his chunk of rock in Bosnia. He's fulfilled his personal obsession with no international reprisals. But the price has been the betrayal of Bosnia and the sacrifice of his own people. <laughs>